So here's the current situation. It is September 28th today. I'm getting pretty close to starving at this point. Um, I was never really able to count my ribs before, but here we are. I'm eating fucking expired stale loaf of breads for, for breakfast. I don't feel super close to my team. I feel like it's my fault because I have this thing where I get kind of overwhelmed in groups and crowds, which is like all of our team functions. So like I don't look people in the eye when I talk to them or even when they speak to me. And I talk super quietly and mumble so that they can't hear what I'm saying. So, so it's not their fault, but I just don't really feel like I've got anyone going to bat for me within like a thousand miles, <laughs> literally. I was also supposed to have two less classes this semester, but my credit transfer didn't work out, but I didn't know until like a month into the year, so now I'm like a month behind in two classes. My student loan also got messed up somehow, so I had to pay for everything, like tuition, residence fees, gas money, food, everything right out of pocket. My bank account currently has $50 and my student loan is not supposed to come in for about another month and a half. I could also be making $100 an hour with massage therapy right now and living with my parents and paying off my student loans, but whatever. A little bit of salt in the wound. But at least I have hockey, right? Well, not really, no, because I am currently injured. It's not just like a little bit of injured, it's like I can't do anything, not even just hockey or things. I, I can't I can't do anything. Basically the muscles that move my ribs and therefore help me to breathe are injured, so I can't really breathe without being in excruciating pain. It's right under my shoulders, so I also can't really move and breathe at the same time. It's a little bit better today, so I can kind of move my arm around, but it's not very comfortable. I had to go to the hospital yesterday because when I was walking back from the gym, <coughs> excuse me, that hurt. <laughs> When I was walking back to residence, um, I was trying to walk and it hurt so bad just to take a step that I my knees almost buckled so I had to just take like little shuffling steps because even just the force of stepping was too painful to, to bear basically. Like to stay standing I had to stop walking. And even when I just stood there and didn't move I had such a shallow range of possible breath that I, I was pretty scared. So I can't practice, I can't work out, I can't sit in a chair without hurting. So I should be depressed as hell, right? Any sane person would be, but despite all of that there's still nothing else I would rather be doing than sitting here right now, starving, unable to breathe, poor as shit, behind in school, lonely, there's nowhere else I'd rather be. There's nothing else I would rather be doing. And it's not just that. It's not just like I'm suffering through this as a lesser of two evils because doing anything else would, would be worse than this. It's not just that. Despite everything that's going on, when I wake up in the morning, I am still so happy that I could cry if I thought about my current situation too long. Like, happy. I am just, I'm so grateful that I'm here. I'm so grateful that I had the opportunity to practice three times a week and be taught by an in-person goalie coach to get to go to the gym where we have an athletic trainer where I can ask questions and have him show me how to do stuff. For it to be in everyone's best interest for me to be good at hockey, I get to go and represent the Sioux College Cougars twice a week and teach kids how to play hockey. I just love that stuff. I'm so grateful to wear the logo and have my name stitched into those jerseys. And also to do that alongside some of the highest quality human beings I've ever met. I mean that in every way. Like the obvious ways, like they're they're considerate and thoughtful and look out for people and, and you know, really go out of their way to help people. But also like they're genuinely like I know this is really cringy, but like <laughs> they're funny as hell too. Like I really enjoy being around them. They're they're charismatic and unfairly pretty too. <laughs> Like, just every single one, every person here is like that. Every single one is someone that I look up to and I respect and like would lot, want to, you know, emulate a little bit in my own life. And I'm just so grateful that I get to be around that and, and be a part of that. Um, even if I don't really feel like I'm a part of it right now, it, it, it's on me and I, and I also feel like it's, it's going to change pretty soon. I mean, we're just, everything's new. It is what it is. Um, but the point is, despite everything going on in my life, Simply the, the opportunity for me to be here with these people in this league, all the bad things are nothing compared to how happy I am. I'm, I'm, I'm just so grateful. Two weeks later. So today is October 14th, 2023. Today is our home opener ceremony. Our actual home opener was yesterday, so today is game two. I have not started for either of the games. Uh, I also wasn't the backup for either of the games. The second one tonight hasn't happened yet, but like, you know what I mean? I was the third string for both of the games, and so that's obviously kind of a bummer. So after not sleeping all night, because I was obviously thinking about this quite a bit, I asked myself first, would I rather have started? Maybe a surprise for you for me to say no. I don't think I should have started because if I should have started, then I would have. So 
clearly I am not good enough yet, um, and I'm not gonna try and fight that. I feel like I've been putting in the work and then some. I mean, you guys know it's the only reason that I'm here, but that doesn't matter. I know some people would say like, oh, but if you're putting the work in more than anyone else, which I feel like I've been doing, if you're not good enough, it doesn't matter. I'm not a participation trophy kind of person. Like, I don't think you should get to start just because, oh, well, I'm trying really hard. Well, I've been giving it my all. Like, I, I don't, I don't really think that matters. I'm very much of the notion that you should start if you're good enough. And if I would have started, then I would have thought I was fine. I wouldn't have been up all night thinking of ways that I could do more. I wouldn't have taken that extra step to figure out, okay, how can I get better? Because I would have started and thought like, oh, well, you know, not that there's not anything to work on, but there's not as much to work on as I thought. Well, whereas now, obviously I'm missing something. So I'm having a, a talk with my goalie coach sometime soon to sort of see what I can be doing differently on the ice. I wouldn't have rather started because I didn't deserve it. Now I have the opportunity to reflect and figure out what can I do to make sure that I do deserve it in the future. And how can I be best for my team where I am right Right now because like here's the thing there's two options here you can either pack it up go home i can go back to new brunswick and start making 100 bucks an hour and pay off these student loans whatever but you guys know me that's not that's not an option for me that's not that's not happening so the only other option how can i bear down more how can i give more so that's the current plan um i'm optimistic so today before the game i'm gonna go to the gym because i don't need to save myself or anything and then next weekend we have we're going to chicago we're playing loyola we have two games there and we'll see what happens from there It is October 18th, 2023 today, and you may notice I'm a bit more chipper than I was the last time you saw me. And that's for a couple of reasons, but first I wanted to like clarify that I feel like people are going to be like, why didn't your teammates help you out? Why didn't your, your parents help you out when you were broken, starving. I want to clarify that it's not their fault because they didn't know because I didn't tell them. <laughs> but it doesn't matter now because now I'm no longer poor. Well, I mean like, I'm poor, but I'm not as poor. Student loans still haven't come in yet, but I talked to the school and they gave me like this emergency bursary thing that's like 500 bucks and then I got an HST check back, which is almost 200 bucks. So I'm loaded now, basically. Um, look at this, I even got Tim's this morning. <laughs> really feeling bougie today. So hopefully that will get me through until my student loans come in, which they should have been in at the start of September, but like, that's the government of Canada for you. So that's part one of why I'm a little bit happier today than I was before when I was emaciated. <laughs> part two is because I had a conversation with my goalie coach last night. And so in the last little vlog thingy I did, I was like, okay, I wasn't good enough. I need to figure out why so I can like work on it and get better. Because that's the reason I didn't start was because I wasn't good enough. That's the page that I was on and that's what I wanted to go in and discuss. I wanted to be like, hey, not I should have deserved to start, not... Why didn't I start? What do I need to do to Im like? What do I need to improve on to start? So I went in and, and told him that, and he's like, "Well, no, it's, it's not what it is at all. It's just that I've seen the other two goalies play before in person. Um, I've never actually seen you play in a game with stats with people who are all your same skill level and everything like that. It's not even that you're inexperienced. It's that I just haven't seen you play, so I don't know what types of shooters I can trust you with." He talked about how I am kind of a mishmash of all different kinds of like styles of goaltending. Like, sometimes I'm a little bit more butterfly, sometimes I'm more of a blocking goalie, you know, like, I don't really have a specific style to me, which, honestly, I'm kind of okay with, like, I am okay with not having a style if I do what works, so, like, NHL goalies, generally, they have a little bit of a style if you have a very, very cute eye to look for it. But most of the time, that's why they call them cookie cutter goalies now, because they used to have so much style. Patrick Waugh was so much different than your Dominic Hasek, but now everyone's kind of the same. 
but they're the same because that's what works. Like that's just what consistently it's the best results every time. So if I don't have a distinct style, I'm kind of okay with it. But anyway, point being, it's not that he doesn't think I'm capable. It's not that he thinks that I'm not good enough to play. He doesn't really have a way of knowing where I'm at yet, if that makes sense. So he's just trying to find a good opportunity to slide me in where I'm not going to get like smoked by a really good team. It's he's going to try and find a good fit for me. Like I don't know how to articulate it, but the way he explained it, it made sense. Basically the conclusion is it's not that I suck, <laughs> which is what I was scared of and was, you know, getting all determined to get the end of it, which like I still am because ideally I would want to be so good at hockey that there would be no doubt that I could be put into a game with any team because I was just I was just that good. Like you just knew, like I just never let any goals. Like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. So I guess there's there's that where I was still, you know, I'm still bearing down and trying to get there just because it's, I would rather be a better goalie. <laughs> but anyway, he said, like, I can't give any promises, obviously, but we'll see about this weekend. We're going to Chicago, uh, going to, well, Evanston, Illinois, close enough. We're gonna be playing the Loyola University Wolves. Are they Wolves? Huskies? Loyola? I don't know. This is gonna be baby's first road trip. I've never gone on a road. I've never been on a bus for hockey. I've never crossed out of the country to go to play hockey. So yeah, I got my emergency bursary yesterday. I had that talk with my goalie coach yesterday. And I got my cat eye cage in yesterday and used it for the first time in practice last night. And oh, I'm never going back to a straight bar cage. I know it's a death trap on my enemy four helmet, I know, but cat eye cages are insane, man. Like, I didn't realize how much I was fighting that bar. It was always just above where my eyes were, if you look at any picture of me playing. So usually, from my view, it would be blocking, like, the hip of the shooter, which meant that you could see most of them. You could see the stick, but you couldn't see their hands. I also got a custom hoodie yesterday. I didn't buy it yesterday, obviously. Hold up. This is what it looks like. So it's got, like, Sioux College on it. And it's got Richardson on it. My name and number. I mean, how friggin' sick is that? So, for those of you who are concerned about my safety, this is a practice mask. Someone was so concerned that I was gonna die if I wore my Enemy 4 that they actually sent me one of their masks. So I put my old Enemy 4 cage on it and I've got a dangler on it too because I don't have a dangler on my game mask. I friggin' hate danglers. So for those of you who are all like, you're gonna die, I am probably not going to. But I am still using my blue mask for games. I calculated the average shots on goal like against our team last year and it was 11. <laughs> Anyway, so, bursary, conversation with the goalie coach, cat eye cage, sick ass hoodie, and then this morning I woke up, thought I had a test, crammed like half the night, and then I found out that the test is actually tomorrow, so I'm relaxing today. So to conclude, the kids are alright. For now. <laughs>